members from the program talk in front of a large group of people in Toronto at an event. Uh, I was so impressed when I heard more about it that I wanted to be here and uh, you haven't disappointed at all. <laughs> um, let me just say first of all thank you and congratulations to those of you who had the vision to create the program and to write the uh, the uh, applications for funding and all of those kind of things for those of you who are supporters of people of Ontario because the the work that you're doing actually goes much beyond this community and that's what's really important about it but I am um, it's really hard to speak after Lauren spoke mm -hmm. um, the um, I can tell you that um, people often ask me what a lieutenant governor does and they see someone uh, with pomp and ceremony and military people around and and music being played and uh, honors and awards all of those things and that's important but the thing that really drives me and the thing I feel so fortunate about is that I get to meet people all over the province I get to to learn firsthand what matters to people and what uh, what what they're proud of and also what they're challenged by and I think I have uh, after four years now I think I have a good sense of who Ontarians really are and each, anytime I have a chance to I, I sometimes say on days like this I'm playing hooky it's just uh, I get out of the office and get a chance to to see where people really live and work and play and that's really important one of the the things I take very seriously however is uh, the traditional and I think not well understood relationship between the crown and indigenous peoples uh, for many indigenous peoples that's a sacred trust it is a, a kinship a relationship because that's where the treaties were originally signed and although most people know that a lieutenant governor doesn't have any power to create law or create policy or to find money, there is one thing I can do, and that is to speak out. I can tell stories, I can bring people together, I can shine a light on important issues. And that's what we've been trying to do with some of the work with uh, First Nations people. I had the good fortune to spend several years working internationally. I, I um, was with the United Nations, I managed their headquarters in Africa, and uh, I was often told about how wonderful it would be to live in Canada. And I believe that. I, I actually think it is the best country in the world. We, the natural resources we have, the intellectual resources we have, the stable system of governance we have makes us, certainly in my eyes, the, the place I want to live anyway and I'm an immigrant to this country as well. But I often found myself, when people would say that, saying how wonderful it is, I said, I would say, yes, but we have pockets of our country that are like third world developing countries. We've got a lot of work to do. And so it's, um, I'm very moved by Lauren's assessment of the issues. I've seen them firsthand. I can't say I've experienced them, but I've, I've seen them. But I guess what I, what I would say is, uh, and the last thing I would say, is that uh, I, um, I want to thank uh, those of you who had the courage, the courage to leave your homes, even for six weeks, and, uh, and to experience something new. Some of you have never been away from your nations before. And the courage that it took for you to come here and to be a part of this learning together. I've gone to a lot of fly-in First Nations and seen kids who only look at their feet and they do not have the self-confidence. And each of you came up and said hello and greeted me so warmly and made me feel happy that I was here and, and left with me a little bit of who you are. And so I want to thank you for your courage, uh, certainly to wish you well, but also to tell you how much you inspire other people. 
um, that's what I get out of this. I get so much more than I give. And hearing your stories and talking to you um, is just a wonderful gift that you've given me. So thank you for that. I wish you, uh, I wish you great success, whether it's coming back here next year, whether it's going on to the place you want to be, either in work or in studies. Um, but I have great hope and optimism. And I hope that you'll remember from this experience that there is always someone who has your back, who, who really does think about what, uh, what is uh, possible. And there is lots that's possible. Thank you so much, Miigwech.